So a good friend of mine recently asked me, how is it that I can be so obsessed about my goals and be kind of 24-7 just thinking about them day in, day out, you know, giving up everything for them. And he wanted to be more like me. He actually said, you know, he said, I'm kind of ashamed to say it, but, but the problem is I want to be more like you. Like I want to be that obsessed guy because he was always, always about balance and now he wants to be the obsessed guy. So what I explained to him was that me being obsessed when I had the periods where I just focused on one single thing, it was actually very detrimental, it was bad. Why is that? Because when you choose just one specific thing, like let's say your fitness or, or your business, and you say, okay, this is above everything else. So I'm gonna focus on this 24 seven, uh, if I have a chance to maybe eat healthy, it's it's willpower that's not spent on the goal, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, if I have a chance to meet somebody I like, no way, because I want to focus on what makes me get to the goal. So if I, if I hang out with people, I might lose sight of the goal. And you simply dedicate yourself, like a do or die, you know, this is the mission. But the problem is you become extremely um, melancholic, <laughs> bitter. You just, you just hate your life, basically. Because when you do that, you say, even my happiness isn't as important as the goal. So I'm still obsessed today. I'm still you know, the same obsessed guy. But the whole difference is that today... I obsess over everything. So I ask myself, what are my goals? Not my one goal, what are my goals in life? And then I come up with, you know, I wanna be fit, I wanna be healthy, I wanna be famous. I wanna have this much in assets, I wanna coach this many people, I wanna public speak, I wanna travel, I wanna be calm, I wanna be happy, I wanna have an amazing body. And I, I use all these goals to fuel me. And I, I am still obsessed 24-7 about my goals. But the difference is that now I'm obsessed about everything. So it's all my goals are number one and everything else is secondary. It's not this specific goal is number one and everything else in my life and me and my well-being is secondary. Everything that I want is number one. Everything that will make me happy, that will make me feel good. Everything about me is number one. Everything else, secondary. And that way, you know, it might not be as effective as that single-minded focus. But that single-minded focus, like, who's it good for? It's, it's good for a very specific type of person. Like, if you're like a, a black guy from the Bronx who all he knows is crime, violence, hate, rape, drugs... You don't really have a life <laughs> you have okay you know play basketball until you reach the NBA or you know build a business or, or escape or you know whatever it is you that guy thinks about doing to escape and everything else is like you know drugs crime but like yeah so you're you're one-sided you're very one point focused because there's nothing else <laughs> But as long as you have a social life, you have friends, you, have, uh, you care about happiness, it's not just survival based. Well, if you don't maintain that respect towards all areas of your life, you're going to be miserable. So you have to take stock of everything you have that you care about right now or that matters to you. Happiness, wellness, fitness, uh, business, you know, even things you're not sure that you care about. Like, like some people will say, okay, once I become rich then I'll, then I'll worry about money but it doesn't work like that you know there's many fat billionaires <laughs> so really make that stock like what are the things that I care about long term if nothing else matters you know I want to be rich I want to have this body I want to be this famous I want to have take care of my family I want to be calm I want everything you want in your life and be obsessed about that so be obsessed about everything in your life and then you can allow yourself to fully go at it 24 seven and then you're happy while working towards all your goals. Remember, P 
people who who get that level of success they think in terms of all they want everything they don't just want that one thing because again that scarcity thinking you want to be a winner you want to think I, I want to have everything I want to have everything in abundance so whatever your one goal is instead of trying to focus on it take everything that's important to in your life take stock of it make daily goals out of it and see what you get and you'll see that when you get the list you'll, you'll get a list of that if you do everything every day you'll be happy you make money you'll uh, you know you love everything about your life you know every single area and it's really important to attack it this way I mean it's, it's better to be um, you know let's say you know a multi-millionaire than a billionaire if uh, going for the billionaire goal means you're gonna give up everything that you love and going for the multi-millionaire means you, s you get to keep everything of everything like you know makes sense <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I hope this video helped you. Let me know if you have been affected by this kind of thinking. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I do coaching, so contact me if you need help.